hear the term remaining relevant almost every day, it seems. I, I really believe how a pharmacy remains relevant is by being where the customer's actually going to be five or 10 years from now. So it's not as much as remaining relevant as, as making a line in the sand and deciding where they're going to provide life-changing services. So in today's world, as we walk and enter a pharmacy, you see the pharmacists engaged most of the time behind the counter and they've got to redeploy themselves and be engaged in front of the counter, direct to the consumer. The, the process of, of filling a prescription um, can be fully automated, done at a lower cost, done at a higher state of accuracy uh, without their involvement. Um, this is not where they were meant to practice. So ultimately it's them practicing at the top of their license and providing a fundamental uh, foundation in the care of each patient. With today's uh, evolving um, economic model, you know, transactions are, are continue to evolve into a, uh, an omni-channel state. Um, so in order to maintain or improve margins, it, it's all about decreasing costs of production. So in the solutions that we provide, we, we drive the lowest labor cost in the industry for producing prescriptions. Um, by employing our technologies in a centralized fashion, they can harvest that across hundreds, if not thousands of stores, if not thousands, but millions of prescriptions. And that ultimately improves their bottom line and their ability to use the, the actual pharmacist's time in providing services instead of fulfillment. The key pressures in facing pharmacies today honestly are staying in business. Um, you, you know, we hear at these conferences like we're at today, time in and time again, that DIR fees, uh, third party contract reductions, I mean, margins continue to get compressed. Um, ultimately, you know, them staying in business is, is, is the biggest pressure of all. And for that, they need to evolve what they're getting paid to do. So with the shortage of general practitioners, you know, the role of the pharmacist evolving to become a provider, uh, working with legislators to in introduce um, legislation that, that, that provides for reimbursement for these provider services, um, providing greater access then for ultimately the patient themselves, um, that will be the evolution of pharmacy. And we at Innovation, the technologies that we provide allow them to engage their most precious asset, that being the pharmacist, doing what they ultimately should do. You know, ecosystem is the word I really like in, in that question. Um, you know, we've become a very self-centered uh, population where everything's being customized to the, to the individual. Uh, the messaging, you know, soon the medications, um, it, it'll all be about um, an ecosystem and playing as much or, or having as great an impact on you can on that total patient's ecosystem is important. So for the pharmacist, we'll be able to interact um, closer with, their, with the physician, to be engaged with the EHR that the, the patient has, to know how everything interacts, not just medications, but the whole ecosystem around that, that patient and their disease state or what um, they've come to that pharmacy for that day will be how they really need to impact uh, a patient's healthcare. Well, 12 years ago, we decided to refocus all of our efforts and, and technology spend on developing the most advanced centralized uh, fulfillment technology. Um, for us, we continue to look at ways to augment that as uh, packaging changes. You know, people may, instead of a vial, maybe they want it in a compliance type format. You know, as we continue to see um, evolution in the way that um, patient paperwork and um, other aspects of, of, of linking one drug to another um, continue to evolve, we, we continue to look for any type of technology that can further automate can further drive more cost out of the production process. Um, 
we'll continue to scour the globe to look for that. But in addition, you know, we're, we're quite unique and different in what we do in that we, we invent a lot of our technology. And that comes as a direct result of the input that's provided from our customers themselves. They have a need that's not being fulfilled and we have no qualms about investing our time, money, and resource in developing a piece of technology that can impact that problem that they're trying to solve.